My name is Jeff Kish from Network Solutions. I'm a data center solutions architect, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about disaster recovery planning. So when we're talking about disaster recovery and backups, it's very important for us to consider things such as how long can I afford to be down and how much data can I afford to lose. And so we're going to be talking about two very key concepts today, what we call recovery point objective and recovery time objective. So the first thing we're going to talk about is that recovery point objective, or RPO. Now RPO takes the, into consideration the fact that we're taking usually something like nightly backups or maybe a backup every two hours or maybe even taking replication technology into account. The idea is this. We're going to take some level of backup maybe uh, every so often. So again, that could be every 24 hours. It could be every two hours. It could be every 10 minutes. And we're really trying to make sure that we keep a sufficient number of those copies of that data. In the event of a disaster or an outage where we have actually lost data, we need to worry about, OK, well, when was the last time we took a backup? When was the last time we took a snapshot? Or how far do we have to go back in time to recover that data? So we've lost a virtual machine. We've lost a server. Maybe our whole data center has gone down. And we have to worry about how much data we just lost. So the question that we like to ask is, with RPO, how much data can I afford to lose? And this is a really key question to ask. And the th important thing is that we ask this on a per application basis, because it's different. Emails, we don't want to lose a whole lot of emails. File servers, hey, if you do a lot of business, mission critical business around your file servers, maybe we need to take regular snapshots of that. But a lot of organizations find that 24 hours is sufficient for files if we've lost a PowerPoint presentation I was working on that day. It's unfortunate, but it's not worth the cost of taking snapshots every two hours of my entire file system. So that's RPO. That's a very important concept. It's one of the two pillars that we need to build our disaster recovery and backups uh, conversations around. The second conversation we need to have is around RTO, or recovery time objective. Now, recovery time objective you know, as we at look at how much data we're losing, we'd also consider about how long we're going to be down. It's a very different conversation. So with RPO, again, we're talking about how amount of data loss. This has nothing to do with the amount of data we're losing. This is simply, how quickly can I get back up? Do I have a redundant server handy? Do I have a redundant data center? You know, these are the kinds of questions. So when we look at it from a time perspective, as we go out and we have an outage, the question is, how long is it until I'm back operational? So the question to ask with this concept, RTO, is how long can I afford to be down? And again, this is a question that you want to ask for every application, because it's different per application. You know, For example, maybe your internet um, is mission critical. You need, you need that to be back up online. So, you know, servers like DNS servers and, um, you know, web filters and things like that, that has to get up very quickly. But again, my file servers may be not as important. Um, you know, so we, we just have to look and see on a per application basis what we need to do. So how do we improve our RPO? Well, we improve our RPO by taking more regular snapshots or looking at replication technology, software overlays that can make sure that we can rewind in time, so to speak, at a granular level, again, for the applications that require it. For applications that don't, we don't want to spend a bunch of money that we, you know, we don't need to spend. So we're going to look at 24-hour backups and things like that at the low end. With RPO, how do we improve our RTO? Or I'm sorry, RTO. How do we improve our RTO? Well, really, we're looking at, again, do I have redundant servers? Do I have replication technology in place to be able to fire up a, a virtual machine very quickly? Am I taking advantage of VMware fault tolerance? And um, you know, again, there's, there's a lot of options that we can do to make sure that if something goes down, that we can get up right away. So that's it for today. Um, we'll cover some maybe some more disaster recovery topics in the future. But you know, as you look at your backup and DR strategy, make sure that you just start with the basics. RPO and RTO, start to define that per application, and then we can go from there. Thanks for your time.